This is tutorial 18 and it covers the rib function within SOLIDWORKS. To start off, open up the rib tutorial part which I've included in the DVD. In this tutorial we're going to make ribs inside of the cylinder and we're also going to make ribs on this ledge. To start off, let's highlight the top plane. We're going to use the top plane to draw a sketch and we're going to make a rib off of it onto this ledge. Click top view click sketch, click line, and let's get the midpoint from here and the midpoint from here. Click accept. Now click feature, click rib, expand the tree here and highlight the sketch that we just made. Now we have a preview of what our rib will look like. Right now it's going out and we don't want that. We want it to go in, so click the arrow and now it's going in. The yellow lines show which way it's going both ways. We can either make it go one way, both ways, or the other way. For now, let's just leave it in one way. Click OK. And we've made our rib on that ledge. Now it's quite easy to manipulate this even more. We can right click, click Edit Feature, and we can change the width to 50 millimeters. Click Enter, click OK. And now we've enlarged the rib that we just made. Again, we can change it even more. Right click the rib, edit feature, and we can make it going to one side. Click OK. Or we can make it going to the other side. Click OK. Now, let's work on the cylinder. I've already made a top plane called plane 1, which will we which we will be doing our sketches on. Click front. Now click sketch, click line, and let's click plane one. Now let's draw a triangle inside of here. Now it's very important that you have the drawing that you made is all closed. If it's not closed, the rib function won't be able to make it. Click OK, click feature, click rib, and now we see the preview of our rib. Now it's going out and we don't want that. We want it to go down, so click the arrow and it's going to go in. And like the other one, we're able to increase the size or decrease it. And we'll keep this at 10 millimeters. Click OK. And now we've extruded a rib inside of the circle. Now let's delete this rib. And also let's delete that sketch. Now Let's go back to that view, click the plane, click sketch, click line, and now let's make a line going from one point to the other. Let's go from here to this point here. Click OK. Click feature, click rib. Now let's click the sketch that we just made again. And now we're able to either make it go in or make it go out. For this time, let's make it go in. Click OK. And we've made a rib on the side there. Right click it. Edit feature. Reverse the direction. And now we've made it go over there. Now, right click again the rib. Edit feature. Make it go back the way we had it before. And let's make it go one direction going down and let's increase the thickness to 50 click OK and now we've increased the thickness of that rib and that concludes our tutorial on the rib feature within SOLIDWORKS